Uh, next is I Create to Educate with Melissa Pickering. Hi, everyone. I'm Melissa Pickering, uh, co-founder uh, of I Create to Educate. We're about six months old. and here with my uh, other co-founder, Brian Gravel, in the back. And we have a third, who's a science teacher up in New Hampshire. And our mission is uh, based around the fact that we are trying to help teachers put students' ideas into motion. And I'll give you a snapshot of what that actually <coughs> means. Here comes the sun. Here comes the rain. What a big puddle. The carbon dioxide is going into the leaf. Here comes the sun. It's covering the cloud. Here comes the minerals. So it gives you a quick, quick snapshot of the result of our work and that students are able to uh, creatively take what it is they know and uh, through tools that are developed in a university setting, um, explain a scientific concept. Uh, so we have creative students, we have innovative tools developed at universities and research centers, and we are providing the link between the two, and that we are helping disseminate technology from the university into the classroom. Where is that uh, link that we're focusing on? And that's the teacher. And, um, and some of the other applications of our software that I'll give you a demo later is, uh, is here in allowing students to break up large complex processes uh, such as the life cycle of a tree for a third grader here and, and really recreate what it is um, that's involved in that process. And another, another application is exploring the invisible. So we go all the way up into the junior high or high school range where students can go into the lab, heat up water, and then show what exactly is going on at the molecular level physically by moving dried beans over a uh, paper and capturing it. What is the platform that we're using? It's a stop motion animation software that was developed at Tufts University through a National Science Foundation grant. Stop motion, not a new concept. You guys are familiar with Wallace and Gromit, the claymation, simply takes individual frames sequences them together and so you have an entire movie. And the power of it in the learning environment in the classroom is where students are able to control time of what it is they're explaining in space. They are working with their hands on the tabletop. I'll give you a quick demo of Sam itself. Here you have the interface of the software. I'm going to create a new project already exists I clearly use that name a lot <laughs> and I'm streaming a live image from oh my my camera well two of me you could actually use a webcam connected here but um, let me it'll be more interesting to watch you guys than me there we go now you can see yourselves in this webcam I have connected to the computer. Here we go. You're awake. Um, it's a little blurry. In focus, yeah, that's better. Okay, snap an image, and we have a still image that drops down on the timeline here. If I move my camera slightly, you can see the residual image from the previous uh, snapshot, and I can snap another image, and we build up a movie. What does this movie look like? I can play it back at any given time in this left-hand preview screen, adjust the frame rate if I want, make it a little bit slower so we can watch how interested you guys are in watching me. <laughs> um, we can record audio, uh, manipulate frames if we want to copy one. Um, very simple basic user-friendly interface where you can see something like this in a K-12 classroom environment <coughs> is a powerful learning tool. Uh, so, how are we uh, basing a company off of this software? We are essentially providing the full package from beginning to end. We are training teachers, so running workshops, uh, both physically and, and virtually. We are developing curriculum, partnering with other education uh, entities who also do hands-on learning. And uh, we are looking to 
further develop more add-ons, if you will, to this type of, of um, application so we can expand uh, the possibilities of what the students can do in the classroom. That's all. All right, thank you, Melissa. I create to educate. Uh, any questions? <laughs> Hi, uh, who are your clients? Uh, clients are schools and teachers. And uh, any particular school districts? How, how do the kids like it? Um, obviously, <laughs> they love uh, being able to create animation where they can do a cooking gal. That's, that's fantastic. No, they're, they're very engaged because, um, one, they're building a movie. Who doesn't want to make a really cool movie? So they're inherently excited. They want to do a good job um, because it's a cool final product. And, and then, at the same time, they're typically working with one or two partners. And, in that process, they're arguing and talking amongst each other. You know, no, this comes in the, um, in the water cycle. Evaporation comes uh, before condensation, and they talk about the actual concepts, um, and that's where the learning occurs, and they're excited about it because, again, they um, they want to do a good job. You can try out Sand Animation for free um, from SandAnimation.com. We have a free demo out there. Where we get a lot of uh, teacher and student uh, users before we um, sell the products to the classroom. Uh, do you have any uh, VC funding or angel funding? We did not right now. We're uh, family and family funding. Uh, we did uh, just get accepted into an incubator program by Kauffman Foundation. So that begins mid February and runs to the end of June. Um, and we'll be in are you looking at other potential applications for the software other than schools? We have actually thought of it as a, um, a tool in corporations where they could use it as um, sort of strategic planning or brainstorming. You know, we, everyone let's get in the room and have something fun to brainstorm where new directions will go. Um, just because it's very hands-on and, and fun and engaging. Um, but we haven't really touched that area yet because it's just pure bandwidth. And how many people are you? Uh, you said three? There's three of us, um, and we have a number of interns at any given time. In, in startup fashion. <laughs> And uh, you're co-working uh, at a co-working space in Cambridge? Um, Is that right? No, we're actually at the Mass Challenge space. So um, after the competition ended, I heard to the grapevine that um, non that the competition starters could be involved and actually contacted these guys around 101. <laughs> and um, <laughs> they helped me uh, get connected to the right to space. So we're a very important part of that right now, right. at least for June when the next <laughs> All right, any more questions? All right, thank you. I create to educate.